Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that, like, <laughs> people watch this. I know. <laughs> We're literally, it looks like we could either be about to film a sex tape or. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another episode of Was That TMI Where We Tell the Truth, The Whole Truth, Nothing But The Truth. I'm back with Ryder! Yeah! <laughs> so we were, we woke up this morning, it's a whopping 3.30 p.m. We woke up this morning, we went out to the hallway, or your little living room. I met Rylan's in Tallahassee, and we literally sat there all day. And ate food. But it was really nice because, like, we had my door open. It was sunny. Yes. We were just talking, like, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It was really nice. And now, um... Now we're ordering more food and we moved to the bed. Yeah. <laughs> so you basically just call us lazy f- <laughs> <laughs> No, literally. <laughs> but we have been just talking all day. My head hurts so bad. Like, it's not like a headache. It's like a, you hit your head. Yeah, you did. It hurts, like, right here, and it's, like, draining through. Like, do I have internal damage? <laughs> Guys, this episode's um, on YouTube as well. If you want to watch it, you can. But we've just been talking all day, and I finally was like, we need to get out the microphone. Because a lot of the stuff we talk about is very interesting, and I feel like... No, it's not. I think it's, it is. You do? Well, some of the stuff that we could talk about, meaning the topics we're gonna bring up yeah we both made a list of topics that we're gonna surprise each other with and yeah. just talk about it some of you guys say that you like listening to us yeah we literally do not stop talking we so don't it might as well be filmed and honestly i'm not gonna lie i'm not in like the funniest silly goofy mood right now but mm-hmm. when we're in funny moods and we talk that shit should cost money for people to watch no that's what i was saying like <laughs> that's why i was asking how much the real rose of simi valley like makes because i think we're funnier <laughs> that is bold i think we are i think we like i was crying laughing out there at least five times today <laughs> within same. the span of an hour no same and i don't know if like the thing is not everybody has our humor mm-hmm. but if you do it's there <laughs> it if is you there. do like we love you mm-hmm. i think that we could write an episode for them and it'd be fucking hilarious oh yeah Did we just find our new hobby jimmy tatro checks his dms and there's like 30 scripts and he's like what it's like whoa whoa <laughs> he's like dude's on dude you check this all they're writing scripts for us uh-huh. anyways we're obsessed with real roses Simi valley uh-huh. um but we just ordered so much taco bell i'm so excited how many items 36 <laughs> 26 items oh i really wish i got more tacos i only got five i could have housed 12 all right yeah you do one of your <laughs> topics first because you seem to have more than me okay my first one rylan needs a male species <laughs> asap rocky it's so funny if you're a guy watching this that means you probably have our humor yeah and you should hit up this Johnson. Hit me up or my Venmo is Rylan Spencer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. That wasn't really my first topic. I just Well, I let's talk it. about it really quick. Okay. Because okay, I'm done. Literally, I, I would say 80% of our conversations are about guys. Yeah. Our, our most used word is hot. <laughs> <laughs> so I just like, it's hard to keep it at one what do you mean keep it at one? Oh yeah oh yeah like i was i was posting on my private story today and i was like hey if you're on this and want to be my boyfriend on the weekdays <laughs> let's do it but like the weekends i'm single as a pringle <laughs> i kind of feel it's not even like an open relationship but it's like Lukey. can we act like we're dating not actually put a label on it yeah we trust each other you know i'm not we're sluts like we don't do but that then what happens if one like catches feelings well you do have feelings but then like i don't want him to be single on the weekends i see so that's when it's done that's standard. how i am i am the biggest hypocrite <laughs> let me just tell you guys this so new year's eve me and rylan were coming back from nashville and i'm on my phone and i'm watching back my private story from the night before i had maybe posted like 50 different boys on there mm-hmm and then this kid I'm simping over heavy right now. Heavy. Heavy. The heavy. Posts a female in the back of a picture, like the background of a picture. And I'm like, fuck him. No, like, not doing she it. She started like 
freaking out a little bit. Like, I was about to get out of the car and flip it over. Like, we were in the Saxby's drive through and I was like, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm pissed off. I'm not doing it. She's, like, far away, like, blurred in the back. <laughs> and he's, like, showing something. And it's, and she's like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, she was at his house. Okay, it could have been, like... <laughs> like sleeping over with dudes i know like, but see here's my thing i know what i'm doing i trust myself i'm not out here hooking up like that yeah no i don't matter, trust other people i don't no matter how much you guys think that her or both of us like like someone just said on the phone he was like no way yeah no way you don't like kind of sleep around or do any of that it's actually funny because we are so specific and oh. have to know people like get to know someone really really well before we do any sort of action and i actually have another topic <laughs> action. on my okay actually my topics aren't even really good but one of my topics is the way that me and you are both prude oh we're both I was so, prude yeah we are very we are prude like i'm prude i will say that yeah, and if like if you're prude totally fine if you're not totally fine like there's so many girls that go to school here and they're like getting they're getting action all the time and good for you Loki jealous <laughs> but i'm not the type of girl that can like do that i don't know what it is about me i don't know if i'm like insecure in some sort of way but i get like shy yeah if i see it as like if i like someone yeah i'm gonna wanna i don't know whatever with them <laughs> but also i see it as like i like to take things very slow oh you have to no i agree you i say that on here all the time you have to take things slow and you have to keep them on their toes yes that's take like it slow number one rule. and have them on their toes that's the name of the game yeah we need to get that on a t-shirt i think it could be different for any person like yeah, i think you just gotta really feel out the situation and like if if they live on the other side of the country like <laughs> i think it's fine that we're prudes yeah i honestly like it better I think guys do, too. You find the more genuine dudes. Yeah. Agreed. Dudes like the prudes. And it's hard, too, because if you think about it, like, when I'm thinking about a guy, I don't want him to be a little F-boy. Like, I don't want him to, like, whatever. And that's where I struggle with kids our age. Because mm -hmm. I hate to say it, and I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I hate to say it, a guy, in my opinion, if the opportunity is there, to, he'll take it. Mm -hmm. He'll take it. Yeah. He will take it. Any guy. Mm-hmm. Say so you get to know a guy... And you start talking about, like, that subject. He either has a lot of experience or not. It's, like, I see it as, like, a bad thing. What? Like, say he has, like, 20 bodies. I'm, like, ugh. Oh, yeah. But then if he has, like, zero, it's, like, why? <laughs> Did I, like, not be talking about this? I don't think. I mean, if you don't care, I don't care. I mean, do you think people will say sh You guys are picky. Oh, sh yeah, I am picky. Sorry about <laughs> it. <laughs> I would say, like, I think it five really is depends good. on the person. Like, so basically if you have five bodies hit me off. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I just, like, have to get to know you as a person and just really see where you're at in life. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. but here's the thing. I don't want a mature boyfriend. I want an immature little fuck. I'm 19. Yeah. And it's no, fun. No, same. And I want someone immature, fun, funny, not judgmental is, like, my top thing on the list. Like, Do not judge me. me. Because, and she has the perfect man right in front of her. What's yeah. up with that? What's up with the fact that when we have the perfect boys, we're like, no. I don't know. I get something that could be really, really good for me. And then once I notice that, I try to find the bad things. And once I do, I can't get my mind off of it. <laughs> like, I don't get the ick anymore. We were talking about that earlier. I do. That's a monumental, like, thing for me. Like, I have not... Knock on wood. I don't really get the egg anymore. No, I definitely still get it, but I also... I've never let it really affect anything. Yeah. Because, like, everybody's going to have their own icks. Like, see, they probably see icks on us. Mine used to be so psycho that, like, I would literally be like, I can't do it anymore. I'm done. Yeah. Cut off. But anyways, like, <laughs> let's get off that topic. Uh, let's talk about all the drugs I did last night. I'm kidding. Guys, we went out last night, though. And... <laughs> I, we were going through the woods. We were really trucking through the woods, jumping over fences. I really hurt my head. Yeah, she hurt her head. I cut my finger. It was just, like, typical something we would do on a night out, yeah. honestly. I puked in the parking lot of the bar we were at. That was great. You did? I was trying to, and um, I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drugs. I just want to make this clear. Oh, yeah. That when we're talking... Wait, do you know what I'm about to say? When I think so. When we're talking about, like doing drugs and stuff like in our Doug and Trey stuff if you guys know what that is 
Um, it's all a joke. Yeah, like, I will literally be like, dude, I just did so much coke. And it's like, we're imitating the characters we're playing. Like, yeah. we're playing a character. Like, say no to drugs, kids. Yeah, we don't, don't do that like, shit. like, we're not trying to, like, I should be, I honestly bring need attention. to chill with the coke thing. Yeah. Like, but if anything, it's honest, it's fine. It, it's honestly, we're kind of making fun of the fact that people do it. Fuck that. Yeah, I would so, never do that shit. Yeah, don't do drugs, seriously. Like, as much as we joke about it and it's funny... It's really scary these days. Mm-hmm. It is. So stay safe, and that's my TED Talk. Don't do what Doug and Trey do. Yeah, don't. Okay, let me see my topics. Yeah, I'm interested <laughs> to see what you have. Guys, can we talk about how I'm simping, though? Yeah, Is ahead. it bad? It is bad, but, like, I... I'm a simp, but I'm still going out and having fun. Yeah, that's the thing. We made that clear earlier because I was like, I feel like during this time of the year, <laughs> a lot of people have, gr- like, girlfriends, boyfriends... They're all coupled up, you know. Me and Sadie, on the other hand, we have each other. <laughs> but she has this other little guy. And so it's been a inconvenience. No, it is not. No, I'm just kidding because he lives on the other side of the country. <laughs> but it would be an inconvenience if he lived in Florida. But yeah, no, it's fine. He's a cutie. He's cool. They keep in touch. And it's all honestly like really nice to just have someone to talk to. I have a full-on crush. I really like him. I love texting people. Me too. You know what's really awesome? What? I like when I wake up in the morning, and this sounds like something out of a movie and, like, really cringy and gross, and I can't believe this is about to come out of Sadie Crowell's mouth, but I love when I wake up in the morning and I just think of him. (laughs) 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 No, I'm just kidding. That's cute. No, it's not. Are you being serious? Yeah. <laughs> no, but like my mind when I wake it's bad, y'all. My mind when I wake up in the morning, the first thought I have is that. Really? Yes. Are you like in love with him? No. That's a show sign of love. I can't fall in love. I don't think I can. You definitely can. Do you love me? <laughs> but yeah. Honestly, it's okay to be a simp. I don't see anything wrong with it. If you like a Wait, guy, okay. who cares? So when you like a guy, you don't think of them right when you wake up in the morning? I mean, I don't Rylan, think the I'm not kidding. thing I think of every time This I is what up. sucks. I think about him all the time. That's, you know how I have the obsessive disorder? Mm-hmm. That's what's like, sucks. Speaking of obsessive disorder. <laughs> Holy shit. Ew, block him. Rylan just got quadrupled snap. Literally. <laughs> um... <laughs> But, yeah, like, my mind, when I like a guy, they're all I'm thinking about all day long. It's bad. If I like a guy, I'm the same way. Yeah. I'm always thinking about them. I'm always wanting to talk to them. I'm wondering what they're doing. What's your love language? I don't know. Mine's 1,000% physical touch. Really? Yes. Mine is, wait, what are they? If I like someone and I'm with them, I'm literally always like, you're so tan. Thanks to your self-tanner. Coming soon. <laughs> Let's see, I... Physical touch, acts of service, gift giving, words of affirmation. What's the other one? The one that I love to do is acts of service. But what would you like to receive? To receive? Mine's also acts of service. So one time I was dating this guy and we were on vacation and I was going to meet a girl and it was our last night on vacation. And I really wanted to go meet this girl because it just like made sense because I was in the same area as her and she does like YouTube or whatever. And I was scared to drive like by myself because it was nighttime. And he offered to drive 40... He was like, I'll drive you. That's so sweet. 45 minutes. He was then going to have to drive 45 minutes back and then wake up early the next day, drive 45 minutes, come get me, and then drive 45 minutes back. I I literally almost cried. Like, I was like, you would do that? You would do that? No, it's literally, like, the smallest things. Yeah. Like, I was like... like, literally opening your door. Yeah. Well, no. You gotta always bring it back to that. You gotta do that. I feel like we talk about guys opening doors in every podcast. (laughs) Yeah, what do you guys feel about that? Yeah. I'm sorry, but if someone's gonna even be close to... Close. Like, a boyfriend or something, you're a fucking man. Yeah, no, you need to be, like, manly, like... (laughs) I feel like I'm coming off really harsh on this episode, guys. I promise I'm not mean. I just have high expectations, which I don't think is a bad thing. I do, too. And I think it's because of the guys that we've grown up around. Yeah. They are so, like... There's just certain things that you yeah. do and you don't do. And I think it has to do with, like, who you're surrounded by, how your parents treated you and raised, raised you. you. Yeah, I And agree. 
down here in the southern parts, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. And if I'm bringing someone home to Diddy, <laughs> they gotta like shake I, their hand, look them in the eyes. Yeah, they you do. Know? It's just the little things. It really is. Yeah, it's just the little things. <laughs> and we're talking. We're talking to this like guys are gonna take our advice. Yeah. Let's talk about moms when you get older. You mm-hmm. start to really appreciate them a lot more. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know what the fuck I would do without my mom. My mom's my best friend. Mm-hmm. Same. I literally tell her everything. My mom knows every little detail of my life, except when it comes to boys, because I feel like she judges me. Mm-hmm. You agree? No, mine judges me. No, that's what I'm saying. Really? My mom's like, she's very realistic with me, and I think she knows damn well. Like, when I'm with guys, she's like, I'm like, so what do you think? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, what? And I know that she's probably thinking in her head, like, you know, whatever, Sadie. Like, it's just a little boy you're mm-hmm. talking to. You know. We're young. So I feel like it's got to be like that. Mm-hmm. I don't want to settle down until I'm, like, 20 fucking 8. I'm just trying to have fun right now. I want to be a MILF. I know, that's the hard part. I'd say 25 is a good age. I think I'm going to get pregnant before I'm married. I'm, like, convinced. Guys, Sadie actually, actually tells the future. I do. It's scary. What happened to the other dad? Um, I posted a picture of sweatshirts on my story of like my merch on my drawer and I was going to check like my DMs later that day and I knew that Rylan had slid up and said that's satisfying. I just knew it. And I was like, she definitely slid up and was like, this is satisfying. No, what was the other one? I was just on a trip. Um, this had been something that like I knew was going to happen for a while. Let me just say when you're flying out to see someone, the pickup airport or the airport pickup, there's nothing more awkward. I've gone through it so many times. I hate it. I don't know why, but I just knew that when I was getting picked up from the airport, someone was going to start a conversation with me, like a guy. Like, I just knew that a guy was going to start talking to me. And literally, kid you not, last trip I was just on, I'm waiting for this fucker to pick me up and this guy in a cowboy hat he said something. He was like, how are you? And I was like, I like your hat. And he was like, thank you. You're so pretty. Where are you from? Well, we start talking. How, how did I know? It was weird. That is really weird. And the other one. Yeah, one time I was going to meet one of my exes. I was going to meet like all of his friends and I was like clearing my disk space, my disk space on my computer the night before. And I literally knew I was like, I'm going to go tomorrow and his friend's going to ask me how to clear up space on his computer and I'm going to have to show him. Kid you not, next day I'm literally there. And the guy's like, Sudu, do you know how to do this? And I was like, how did I know this was going to happen? Did you tell him? Um, not him. Oh. I told my ex, like, a few days later. That's crazy. Yeah, so basically Sadie can read your fortunes. Me, on the other hand, I can barely read the past. <laughs> Facts. I literally have short-term memory. Can't remember sh- <laughs> and it's really annoying for everyone. There's been so many times growing up when I swear you've been like, oh my god, he brought you up and he was talking about you. And I'm like, no, wait, what are you saying? And you're like, fuck, I can't remember. It's bad. I don't know. Like, I would literally, she would blue balls the hell out of me. Mm-hmm. What were your topics? Oh, being confident with guys and mm-hmm. like making the first move. Oh, I love making the first move. I, like, guys love it. love it. Being confident with the guy, though, it's hard if you're shy. It is. And I would say I used to be so shy, but Sadie's definitely made me not as shy. Oh, that's, like, the nicest thing you could say to me. Really? Yeah. Why are you crying? No. <laughs> I'm not a fucking pussy. Like, dude, you really think I'd start crying every lot? Like, I know you're my best friend and all, but, like, let's not, like, get that deep. Doug, you, like, he kind of scared me right there Trey, like literally i mean remember when i cried by your bed right there yeah ow ow what <laughs> i have a foot cramp ew 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 no guys sorry about these the voices they're like actually like <laughs> engraved it's so bad like i can't stop it even my like my whole family when i went home for a break they're like rylan shut up what did you say earlier? You were like, if a guy is gonna like me, he has to he'd like me. He's gonna like Trey. me for Trey. <laughs> That's what I actually think. Like, something that can kill my confidence is if a guy is like judgy or like. Uh huh. That's one of my top things. Yeah. If you're gonna judge me, no, you're gone. Living in the moment. Yes, I just actually made a thing and I was saying that like my best piece of advice is doing it for the plot. 
That and I always say, and I know like this sounds stupid to some people because like saving your money is really good. You should definitely do that, whatever. <laughs> but like money comes and goes, time doesn't. Like you only are alive for so long. So like I know you always see those like little sayings where it's like, book that trip. Meet that friend. Suck that. <laughs> Sorry. No, I agree. And I'm always in my head, I'm like, if I don't go do it, am I going to regret it? Yes. But if I do go do it, will I regret it? Probably not. I was so fucking nervous to go on that trip. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I just don't want to do it. I just want to do it. And then yeah. I was like, you know what? If I don't, I'm going to sit here and think about what it would have been like if I did go. Yeah. That's how I need to be when it comes to like hang out with guys. Mm hmm because I'm scared and I get shy and if they're shy then it's just like not a good sitch. I hung out with this guy one time and I'm scared. No, it's not bad. I'm like soggy. We hung out alone. We went and got food. And then we went back to his house. Oh and it was only a one time thing, like we could. Anyways, we hung out and I realized that he was shy too. And like, I need to hang out with someone that's like not shy. Oh, and I remember this. It was just like awkward. And like, even like after the- awkward? Like really awk. Fuck. So like, he texted me after and he was like, I was like, that was fun, whatever. Like, I didn't see it going any further. And he was like, you were so shy. Like, I didn't even know what to say. And I was like- Thanks. Once again, you're the fucking dude. Mm hmm Like, shut up. You texted you that after? Block. I would literally be like, okay, maybe I got in and you smelled like shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I can't date a little pussy. No. Hell no. But I do like the shy guy. My yeah. perfect guy, though, is literally, like, I want a big, bigger dude. And I just want him to kind of- Specifically 6'4 and 200 in- 6'5. Ew. 245. Is 6'5 like a lot? That's why I- This is high. Really? He didn't look that tall last night. Well, he was sitting. <laughs> He's sitting down. I'm like, ew. Ew, he looks short. <laughs> Guys, we literally- feed off of each other so much like i've never like hung out with someone where we can just literally go back and forth <laughs> back and forth we do us in our tacos right now in our beehy blasts <laughs> i feel bad for anybody listening to this what i was saying my perfect guy would i like shy people not shy, but I like the one who's not going to talk a lot. Y you yeah. need someone outgoing. I think I need someone more. Well, I need someone outgoing for when they're with me. But when we're out, I don't want him like out talking to everyone being like the like center of attention. Yeah, I don't like that. Me either. That's so cringy. I know. Only I can be that. Yeah, like that's for the females. People are going to listen to this and be like, they're so double standards. Like, we are. I have the biggest double standards and that's okay. I mean, I can't change it. Wait, is that even what it's called? I just want, like, a manly man who, like, knows how to run shit, knows how, like, is just very confident. I mean, I'm not saying that if you're not confident, it's a bad thing. But, like, I feel like I just, you know what? But then, they're not fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're not fun. That's the thing. If you want, like, a man who's, like, gonna whatever, they're not fun. That's why all the girls with the hot fucking husbands, they're always out with the girls because mm -hmm. the guys aren't fun. That's very true. And you know what? They're probably fucking cheating on you. I've never thought of that. Yeah. Think about this. <laughs> if I get married and the dude's parents are alive, do you know how much shit I'm going to go through? What do you mean? With the online stuff. I marry someone normal. Like say not a name drop cut it <laughs> i don't think his parents would care because he said his mom subscribed to me on youtube oh, i know i think if they love you their parents are gonna love you and they're gonna support what you do Aww, that's, that's how it should sweet. be yeah that's true i guess if not if they have problems then no you don't fucking marry him because mm -hmm. when you marry someone you're in their family now yeah i'm gonna have two females brought in by my brothers yeah yeah, I'm gonna mm -hmm. have two females brought in. Christmas not, dinner is gonna have females at it. You're not gonna be the only female anymore. Yeah, I want the attention. Fuck. Unless I'm no, why shit. It, it's fine. No, literally. 
the other thing too do you like bringing guys home to your family no i feel like it's kind of awkward yeah i do i hate it so Mm -hmm. much i hate it every one of my exes has never really came to my house ever yeah i don't let them i'm like no my stepdad is like no matter who the person is he can start a conversation with a brick wall so (laughs) like if anything ever gets awkward it's not when he's there because he's always just like yeah i just it's not like the situation that's like gets awkward i just think about it like why would you come meet my family like why why would you do that (laughs) um maybe because i like you and it's your family (laughs) like i'm just like what are we getting fucking married there's no reason for you to come meet my family (laughs) you're not meeting my family until our wedding day (laughs) (laughs) But, like, I am a little slut to go meet theirs. Like, I would love that. Really? I love going and meeting the parents. Because I want them to love me. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, like, more friends. Mm -hmm. And they're like, I want to meet your parents. No! Yeah, hell no. No. There we go again with the double standards. Literally. We have issues. (laughs) I know. Major issues. You know what? At least we're, like, aware. Like, we're we're self-aware. And I just know I'm immature. Can I have a bite of this? Yeah. This is, like... Like, let's rate this. Okay, bet. Wait, low key? Not bad. <clears throat> I'm, I'm okay with the average. I said on my last podcast episode, and I was like, this is really out there, girls. But if you're with a guy and you kind of like him, just tell him his dick's big. I was like, just tell him it is. And don't lie to your friends if it's not. Some people will be like, yeah, his dick is like huge. And it's not. You wait, what is in this? Is that beans? That's the beef coming out. That's gonna be coming out of me later. <laughs> <laughs> ew, ew, ew. That's an okay size. I think honestly, if I ever get married, I'm gonna have to find a best friend. This sexual tension's just not there. That's the issue. You marry your best friend, what if the sexual tension's not there? Some people don't have sexual chemistry. Mm-hmm. It's like a real thing. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard because you just can't have it all. You can't. Like looks, personality, sexual. And guys are the same way. Actually, I feel like guys will put their dick in the fucking ground if they mm-hmm. can. Like, that's the thing. I'm crying at how we're. <laughs> oh. What's funny is we're sitting here shitting on, like. <laughs> We've been talking about guys this whole entire time. We're two fucking lazy girls laying in a bed. We look not our best, and we're like, yes. <laughs> we're shoving tacos in our face, and we're like, yeah, so, like, they can't do that. <laughs> but we can. But I just think, like, take what we say with a grain of salt. Like, yes. these are just, like, our, like, we don't think our opinions matter. No. But we're just here to talk about them. We literally just say stuff to say it, and, like, when you post things, like, a lot more people relate to you than you think Mm -hmm. like we're sitting here like wait should we not say that wait that's like double standard that sounds rude whatever but i'm sure there's gonna be so many girls on here that are gonna be like i feel the same way yeah so like that's why i like talking about it yeah same all right guys well that's gonna be it for the episode i love you so much bye